honestly had no idea what this country was all about. I heard Stan, and I definitely got scared right away. It's absolutely stunning. Apparently this place can withstand a nuke, so yeah, you might as well make it as beautiful as you possibly can. There was some heavy collusion on this trip. We had two Russians and two Americans traveling around skating together, and uh, we definitely colluded on a lot of skateboarding and good times. Summarize Pasha, if I had to use one word, it would be, uh, he's close to being a lunatic. <laughs> he is a, uh, he's a beautiful lunatic. Pasha's a character. Someone that mixes things up, he's the wild card. Pasha is Pasha. It's a very unique uh, human being. He's an artist, he's a poet, he's a singer, he's a painter, he's a skater, he's Pasha. He's doing everything. He loves to build furniture out of things he's finding on the street. It's quite surprising because you, you ask him about skateboarding and, or you have a conversation with him about skateboarding and he doesn't really know too much about, you know, the, the normal skateboarders when you throw a name out like Wes Kramer or Paul Rodriguez and you think he's going to know. He has no idea who you're talking about. My favorite uh, skate movie, what I saw, it's um, Zero, New Blood, uh, Foundation, Art Bars, Girl, You're Right. Yes, maybe you can think I'm like a dinosaur. And uh, when I know what uh, some Ethan go to the skate trip, I think it's Ethan Fowler. But it's another Ethan, Ethan Loy. He's so much better. <laughs> I have last one trick for dessert. He burns his hair, he, he punches himself, he does things. He wants us to kick him in the ass when he can't land a trick. And he puts a lot of work into skating and he skates his own way. No one skates like him. He's got a great personality. Some, something that all grew on us. We are boarding a train right now, leaving eastern Uzbekistan and heading west, far west, about 20 hours west on a train. Pasha is a hectic traveler. That's what, he's, what I like to call a hectic traveler, just one big bag, everything thrown in there. What's inside the bag? He's got some high heels. <laughs> the first thing you grab, high heels. Pretty clutch. Our train is going to the more desert part of Uzbekistan. It's getting more sandy for sure. And excited to see the desert as well. It was definitely the break that our bodies needed and uh, you didn't really get too much time to, uh, to exit the train during the stops but every once in a while the train would have a 15 or so minute stop for you to get out and get some snacks or if you're Pasha, you could jump out or skate around a little spot. We have 20 minutes on the station and I think Pasha is about to skate whatever we can find around here. We're arriving in Nukus today at 9 a.m. And uh, we believe we're the first skateboarders that are gonna explore this city. So uh, yeah, we're pretty well rested. I think everyone got pretty good sleep. We were on here for a good amount of hours. Train sleep is nice, man. It rocks you, it rocks you right to bed. Just like a little baby cradle. <laughs> the cradle. We arrived in Nukus on the west side of the country. Getting out of the train station was a bit different. It's not quite like Tashkent. It's a lot more desert oasis, really rural. Karakalpakstan. Wow, first try. <laughs> it's kind of a tongue twister to pronounce this. Karakalpakstan. You have to train it. <laughs> 
So we got off the train in Nukus and we quickly realized that we were in the Republic of Karakal, Pakistan, where they have their own traditions and they're a small minority group that speak their own language and have their own outfits and put a different spin on very similar types of food. And it was awesome to be somewhere so close yet it does things a little different. Dude, the black one over there was really sick, but it was a little too big. I felt like it was gonna fall off my head. No. I got a big ass head. We knew we had just, just around 24 hours to skate the city, and uh, one thing we noticed was a really good outrail. Board rack. Ethan seemed pretty excited to skate it. It was lacking one important feature of a skate spot, and that was the rollaway. Not knowing what else we were going to find in that city and feeling like we were on a tight time crunch, Ethan decided to uh, skate it regardless, and he got the first kick in Nukus, and then from there, the spots definitely got better. In the final episode of the journey, we will visit the ancient cities of the Silk Road, Kiva, Bukhara and Samarkand. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you almost bugged me off!